Welcome, in front of me is a Motorola Edge 20 and today I'll show you how to bypass the Google verification on this phone. Now you can see that the phone right here is locked and I can unlock it using pattern or obviously the Google account and it wants to have this tiny little icon to signify that well, it is locked. Now, to begin this process we will need a SIM card with a pin on it. Uh, it doesn't really need, to, you don't really need to know that pin, it just needs to have one. So I already have one right here as you can see on the tray so you want to pop the card in there and i'll mention before we do that you do want to also be connected to wi-fi uh, you will need it for our well throughout the process uh, actual internet connection so anyway let's pop it in there give it a second and it should show us that we need to put in the pin for it and there we go and once you see that let's just pop it out that's all we really needed the SIM card for. So once you see this little pop-up right here. Oh no, you didn't. Let's try that again. Okay, so it's here. Uh, so once you see this pop-up, um, you want to basically slide it to the side we go and it shows that gear icon for settings so you're gonna click on it and then we're gonna now click on manage which takes us to well, managing notifications and in here we're gonna select see all from last seven days I'm gonna tap on right here on the most recent and we're gonna change it to all apps scroll all the way down to YouTube click on the icon of YouTube and then select open And in here, we're gonna select the account icon, go to settings, about, and YouTube terms of service, which will open up our web browser. So select accept and continue and no thanks. And then right at the top for the search bar, you wanna type in uh, hard reset that info slash bypass. Now I'll write it down and if you need a moment to write it as well, uh, do pause the video. There we go. And from here you wanna scroll down and select settings. So once you open up your settings, we're gonna now navigate to, and quickly check. Um, so we're going to accessibility, scroll down to accessibility menu accessibility menu shortcuts you want to enable it allow and okay as you can see we get it up with two fingers like so okay so we're gonna go back and we're gonna go back once more and now we're gonna navigate to apps and notifications see all 41 three dots and then select show system apps and you want to start off by selecting Android setup force stop Okay, and I'm gonna go back and now we're gonna scroll down to Google Play Services right over here. And we're gonna disable, disable up, and we're also gonna force stop it. There we go. So once you have done those two things, you're now gonna <clears throat> back out. So we're gonna keep on backing out to the setting or setup. There we go. Let's go back again. And from here. Okay, so once we see this, it's gonna just kind of flicker and not go anywhere because Google Play Services is disabled. So what we need to do now is basically we're gonna use two fingers to slide up and then I believe we're opening up Assistant. Let me just quickly make sure. Yep, so 
this will be probably the most trickiest part right here because we need to select assistant once you do so there is there we go settings uh, up here and this will stay for as you've seen just a split second there you want to click on it this will open up another page and in that page you will have open button somewhere in the middle right over here and you want to basically select that open i think it is so anyway let's try that so again two fingers assistant nothing happened so let's try it again two fingers settings nothing Oh, so it's actually right here. I don't know if you've seen it. So let's try it again. And it's enable. There we go. So as you've seen, it took me a couple of tries to actually get it working. Once you enable it, we're now gonna go back. And as you can see, it goes forward, uh, skipping the Google verification page. So we can now go and finish up the setup. So at this moment, you just want to set it up however is quickest for you by skipping everything that you can. And as you can see, we are now on the home screen. So from here, you will now navigate into your settings. And from settings, scroll all the way down to system, advanced, reset options, erase all data, factory reset, erase all data. And then once you click on erase all data the second time around, this will begin the factory reset of the device. Now, the reason why you want to do this, even though you already have access to the home screen, is because the device is still in a locked state. Now, performing a reset of the device through settings will remove everything that the device still has in its memory. So all the old Google accounts, the patterns and all that stuff will be completely removed. Now, unfortunately, you will basically have to go to the factory reset and then another setup, but the new setup that you will go through after the factory reset uh, will be completely up to you how you go through it. There won't be a, any need to uh, do what we did right now. The device will be at that point fully unlocked and you can set it up however you like. Now for the sake of time, I'm not going to be going through it because it provides you with no additional content after the factory reset is finished. You just set it up as any other device. So that being said, this is basically how you bypass the Google verification on this device. And if you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe and thanks for watching.